Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Is everyone ready? Thank you. Uh, the Queensland Police Service has closed its investigation into the murder of Leanne Holland following a review of the case that supported the initial case against Mr Graham Stafford. The review, which was announced in May 2010, was undertaken by some of the Queensland Police Service's most ex experienced detectives and was overviewed by an experienced detective from New South Wales Police and the Crime and Misconduct Commission. A number of new pieces of forensic and other evidence were identified during the review and these were strongly consistent with the initial police case. The investigation was extensive and far-reaching, including addressing the issues raised in a book written about the case by Mr Graham Crowley. The Queensland Police Service referred the findings of the review to the Director of Public Prosecutions, who in March 2010 had decided that although a jury could convict Mr Graham Stafford of the murder, it was not in the public interest to prosecute a new trial for reasons including the fact that Mr Stafford had served his sentence and nearly 20 years had passed since the offence occurred and that had adversely affected some of the evidence. The DPP has considered all of the material and the Queensland Police Service respects his decision that there is no public interest in now retrying the case. The Queensland Police Service is confident that unless new admissible evidence comes to light in the future, that the investigation into this matter is finalised and there are no additional persons of interest. Thank you. We're prepared to take your questions. Why, after so many years of investigating a very police investigation, not found substantial evidence to, to then prosecute other any persons? I think it tried to say that our review and our reinvestigation of this matter the fact that it was peer reviewed by experts from other areas uh, resulted in the Queensland Police Service going back to the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution and recommending that there would be a retrial. The uh, Director has made his decision and we respect that decision. Can you elaborate on the new evidence that I? Um, I might hand that question to Assistant Commissioner Connolly. Uh, what we can say is that the investigation thorough and uh, peer reviewed by two very experienced um, people involved in both investigations and law. Uh, as a result of that investigation and a review report, um, we were satisfied that the new evidence was consistent with the majority view of the Criminal Court of Appeal and we recommended to the uh, DPP that uh, Mr Stafford be retrialled for the murder of Leanne Holland. As the Commission has indicated, the Director of, the Director of Public Prosecutions has made a decision that's not in the best interest to pursue that. Is there new evidence found or old evidence referred to in the report? Uh, there was uh, a number of uh, new witnesses uh, located and identified and interviewed. And there was also um, new pieces of evidence which uh, I suppose could best be described as using modern technology. I think the objective of the Crown found that the initial uh, theory that he murdered, that Graham Stafford murdered Leanne Holland by climbing and holding her to the stairs through Bay should be disregarded. What did you all say about your theory of that crime? Uh, look, it's, uh, it's not appropriate that I go into those sorts of details. At the end of the day, we put a report uh, forward to the DPP and they've made a decision in relation to uh, whether or not to prosecute or not. Will you be releasing the forensic evidence that was provided to the DPP? Will you be making it public given the level of interest in this case? Um, that's an issue that I'm still considering as Commissioner. Uh, there are a number of factors that I need to consider, uh, particularly in relation to uh, some of the new evidence and the new witnesses that were located. Um, I can't give you an answer right at this point in time. When, when did the DPP um, hold a witness to retry Mr Stafford? Um, that occurred late last week. How are the officers going to provide that 
um, I might hand that back to Mr Condon or to Mr Barnett. Well, uh, thank you. Um, the officers that we assigned to this case were some of our most experienced and most professional. They've done an outstanding job over the last two years. At the time that this investigation commenced, I gave them a completely free reign to take as long as required to get this job done, to run out every possible uh, avenue of investigation, just to take a Greenfields approach, start from the start, make no assumptions about who may or may not be responsible. They've done an outstanding job. It's not um, the quality of their work that is being judged far from it. I think uh, the uh, evidence that has been reviewed and uncovered uh, shows that we've had a quality group of people on this job and no one could have expected any better from uh, the work that they have put in and that has been the overwhelming view of the Detective Inspector from New South Wales Homicide and the CMC who have overviewed this every step of the way and have fully agreed with the recommendations and conclusions of the investigation team. Certainly our response after the, after the review was uh, undertaken by our people and the peer review was to recommend that Stafford be retried. That is not the decision of the uh, Director of Public Prosecutions, but we respect that decision based on the reasoning that he's provided. Did that just occur to them when you found that? Um, Sorry, what was the question? Uh, did that just occur to them when you found that? Uh, yes, uh, the investigator in charge of the review team has spoken to the Collin family today. Uh, obviously uh, disappointed, uh, but they've indicated that they uh, respect the uh, views of the uh, Director of Public Prosecutions. Uh, we have advised uh, Mr Stafford's solicitor. Can the investigator provide the address that answers your question? Um, that was some time ago. Um, Sorry. I would say approximately several months ago. I don't have the exact date. Uh, mm. That's a good reason to for them to contact you. Absolutely. Mm. And what about, about the charge of public prosecution? Mr Stafford was tried originally, uh, found guilty um, and did a ter significant term of imprisonment. Um, he was released uh, by, the, uh, by the Court of Appeal, but that was uh, the, court, the decision of the Court of Appeal, the majority view, was that a properly instructed jury could again convict Graham Stafford for the Dan Holland murder. Uh, we have no different view uh, to the Court of Appeal, um, but we also accept the decision made by the Director of Public Prosecution that it is not in the public interest now to retry Mr Stafford. Did, did the group review in the Victoria Police Department um, that agreed with the jury this time that they must have been Mr Stafford? Um, all I'll say is that the DPP provided us advice that he had, he was confirming his decision in the public interest not to retry Mr Stafford. Given the Um, it's my understanding that um, Mr Stafford is in a situation where he has never been found not guilty. Uh, the Court of Appeal said in a majority view that a properly instructed jury could again uh, convict Graham Stafford for the murder of Leanne Holland. As I've said to you today, we have no different view from that. Is there a cloud still over this case? I'm sorry, is there a cloud still over? I think that's a matter for you and the public to decide. So just to be clear, you believe that, uh, that you won't be able to challenge the investigation and why don't you want to challenge the investigation? Um, we cannot speak for what Mr Stafford may or may not do at this point. No, I'm saying that I can't talk and the Queensland Police Service cannot talk for what Mr Stafford may or may not choose to do from this point. Uh, there is no conviction recorded, 
but he has not been found not guilty. So did you get your name originally? Um, as I said, our job is to put the case, the best case possible, before the proper authorities. Um, we certainly did that initially, um, and I believe that the review that was undertaken by, uh, as uh, De Deputy Barnett quite rightly said, some of the most confident and dedicated detectives in the state, uh, w the recommendation from that review was that um, Graham Stafford be retried. We have certainly never identified any other person of interest in this matter. I can confidently say there is not a scintilla of evidence that identifies any other person involved in this investigation. I can confidently say there is not a scintilla of evidence identified during the review that implicates any person identified in any information that has been made public since the review commenced. Unless Um, the Director of Public Prosecutions has made his decision based on the public interest test. Um, you may be aware that um, we operate on a two-part test when we put anyone before court or, or arrest that person. And one is the sufficiency of evidence test, the second is the public interest test. That, that applies to us just as strongly as it applies to the uh, Director of Pub Public Prosecutions. Uh, our recommendation on the former so the sufficiency of the evidence was to retry Mr Stafford. Uh, on the second matter, uh, certainly the director has decided uh, not to take the matter further based on the public interest test. But do they still believe there was a public interest in the public interest We placed the matter with a recommendation to the director who has the final say and this is, uh, as uh, Deputy Barnett would uh, explain to you, this is something that happens uh, almost on a daily basis. I think that's probably a question best posed to Mr Stafford. Did you consider this case closed today? Yes, and that's what I said uh, earlier. So why, why hasn't the Commission decided that? It's not in the Commission's uh, I think that's probably best asked of the DPP. Why don't you take that point back to the Commission? Uh, because the DPP has considered all of the factors that are, that are inherent in taking this matter back to a retrial. Um, a very interesting question, and perhaps that's something that uh, the community can best judge rather than me. But do you think that there's something that just can be used? I mean, does it show that we have a robust democracy whereby people um, can proclaim their innocence, that they can go to the courts? What, what does it show? Um, uh, on two points uh, that you've just raised, uh, I think we have one of the best justice systems in the world, let alone Australia. On the second issue, um, people can proclaim lots of things. The justice system is designed to test that. Uh, I think this matter has been um, tested as far as it ever will be, and that's why we have closed our investigation. So it's not cut and dry, is it? Um, all I can say is that we uh, are bound by the decision of the Director of Public Prosecutions. He has made his decision. We respect that decision. Um, the matter is closed as far as the Queensland Police are concerned. Is there anything, is there anything oh, sorry. So could I just say, just on the, in terms of the passage of time, could I just make the point that two years of that time has been spent by us in a thorough, exhaustive, professional and impartial reinvestigation. Uh, Leanne Hollins and her family deserve nothing less. And we don't make any apology for the time we've taken to come to this point. Is there anything stopping a change of heart by the DPP later on to, that maybe they may change? I think that's something you should take up with the DPP. As part of your review, um, does it bear out the wrong or the reasonable suspicion? Any number of other questions we've asked of all the DPPs on how much of the time was actually spent? Is that still part of your 
No, that's a matter of conjecture. I think the officers understand that the decision that the director makes is entirely independent and it's not a collaborative decision and it's not a reflection in any way on their work. Absolutely. Certainly formed part of the uh, review, and uh, that's as far as we can take it. Identifying any new clients for you? Uh, well, the media are quite obviously aware that we uh, reinvestigated the initial crime scene that's been well documented, and apart from that, I'm not able to make any comments. Thanks, ladies and gentlemen. Appreciate your time today.